Hello, I'm now going to go through what a hypervisor is. So hypervisor is another type of server, we've gone through a few already, but I feel like it needs its own video because it needs a bit more explanation. So a hypervisor is a type of server that can create multiple virtual machines. And if you've used a virtual machine, you'll know what that means. But if you haven't, that might seem a bit odd. So something which is virtual is not real, you can't physically touch it, but most computers are physical. Right, you can touch the actual hardware, it's a real thing. But a virtual machine is really a simulation of a real computer, although it's working on a real computer. So to give you an example, here is a picture of a screenshot of a Windows computer. So a Windows computer, you can see the background in blue. But we also have a, a window using the operating system Ubuntu. And this is a, a Linux distribution, so we can really think of this as being Linux, which hopefully it will recognize as being an ARV operating system, an open source one as opposed to Windows, which is closed source. So this window here is a virtual machine. A virtual machine is, like I said before, a simulation of a real computer. So this window is pretending to be a uh, Ubuntu computer, a Linux computer. It's not because the actual computer is running Windows, but this is pretending to be a computer. And so when you're working in this window, it acts exactly like it's its own computer using the same hardware as you've got in front of you. So a virtual machine creates a simulation of a real computer. And to give you some terminology, the sort of real computer is called the host machine. It's a physical computer. Of course, the software, like Windows, is not physical, but the actual computer is in front of you and you've got access to it. Whereas the virtual machine created is a guest. So a guest machine is where it is virtualizing and creating this simulation. Okay, so this window is not an actual Ubuntu computer, but it behaves like it is. And that is the key idea of virtual machines and virtualization generally. It's pretending to be something which it isn't quite. So going back to what a hypervisor is, because I said a hypervisor creates virtual machines, well a hypervisor will use just one physical host system to provide access to multiple guest systems, each one being a virtual machine. And the point being, like I said, each one behaves like they are their own system. So from the user's perspective, they are using a real computer but actually it is really a virtual computer. So this is how it might look like. You have your physical hardware, the infrastructure, so the CPU, the hard drive, um, the graphics card, the RAM, and so on, the physical machine, part of your host. And the host will run a program called a hypervisor. The hypervisor is what creates these virtual machines. And here in this picture, we've got three virtual machines being made. Each one has its own operating system its own files and its own applications. So the point being, each one is pretending to be an actual computer, but they're not. They're created by the hypervisor and they all use the same hardware. That's really important. One set of hardware can run multiple virtual computers. And that is the key message I'd say. It's easy to overthink this. The most important thing you realize is you've got one set of hardware and the hypervisor is allocating resources from this set of hardware belonging to the host to enable each of the guest virtual machines to work. Okay, so it's borrowing the underlying hardware from your host to allow the virtual machines to work. But also alongside allocating resources, the hypervisor needs to make sure each machine, either a virtual one or the host one, they're kept independent of each other. So they're not too attached they're nice and separate with their own files and their own profiles and software and so on. We don't want them to be too connected. So as, as I say, each could run different operating systems. They could all run Windows or all run Linux, doesn't really matter. But they are independent, they could run their own software, which is quite useful if you think of a business. A business can maybe want to use uh, different programs which don't always work on certain operating systems. You want to test out your product on several operating systems and so this can be useful. 
but also because they're kept really independent, they're generally portable. What that means is you can easily move your virtual machines between hypervisors. So ultimately, a virtual machine is just a bunch of files on a computer. The hypervisor is making those files act like they are a real computer by allowing it to access the hardware. But because a virtual machine is not a physical machine, you can just you know, copy and paste the files from one computer to another. And if you've got a hypervisor on both, you can run the virtual machine on any computer which is compatible. So this gives lots of flexibility. But also, you know, because they are just files, if you have some problem in your virtual machine, all you do is delete the file, right? If you get a virus in your virtual machine, who really cares? Just delete the file and delete the virtual machine. Because they're kept separate, it should be designed to make sure nothing can leak out of your virtual machine. So a virus on your virtual machine should get stopped by the hypervisor from leaking out into your host computer and vice versa, right? If you have an issue with your host computer, it shouldn't affect your virtual machines. The hypervisor keeps them separate by putting a barrier in between the two. So if things are run properly, you should make sure that each virtual machine will not affect each other. So the idea being that you can have people working together, but on separate virtual machines.